At this time now, President Bola Tinubu has commended the armed forces for not carrying out a reprisal attack in Okwama community in Delta State where four officers and 13 soldiers were brutally killed by suspected militants. At the burial ceremony held at the National Military Cemetery in Abuja, President Tinubu also announced scholarships up to the university level for the bereaved families as well as houses for them in any part of the country. State House correspondent Femi Akonde has more. A somber moment for the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as he attends the funeral of the Nigerian Army personnel killed in action in Okwama community of Delta State. The grief-stricken family are unconsolable and yet to come to terms with the death of these gallant officers. President Tinubu's presence here means so much to the armed forces. The funeral ceremony was solemn and strictly a military affair. The caskets containing the bodies were brought in for burial. But before the bodies were lowered, President Bola Tinubu expressed the gratitude of the country for the sacrifices of the armed forces. He bestowed posthumous honors on the fallen officers and soldiers and also announced a welfare package for the bereaved families. It is now our duty to protect the families of our departed heroes. The federal government will provide housing in any part of our country to each of the families of the four officers and 13 soldiers that were among them. The federal government has also approved scholarship to all children of the deceased up to university level. including those who are in the womb. The brutal killing of four officers and 13 soldiers by militants in Okwama community of Delta State portrays the security situation in the country and the efforts by the armed forces to keep the country safe. The army chiefs insist this time around perpetrators of this heinous atrocity must be identified, arrested, and severely punished. As taxed by Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of our Armed Forces, the Nigerian Army, with the assistance of its sister services and other security agencies, is committed to bringing the perpetrators of the Okwama murder to book and recover all service and personal belongings taken from the murder troops. We will honor your memory by continuing the fight against those who seek to undermine our peace and security. We will remain steadfast in our resolve to build a nation worthy of your sacrifice. This sacrifice will not go in vain. In line with the customs of the military, national flags were presented to the next of kin. Also wreath was laid by President Bola Tinubu, the service chiefs and other high-ranking government officials in attendance. There was also the gun salute in honor of the Nigerian army personnel killed in action. The strong message sent out from here today is that the killers of these gallant officers and soldiers will be found and punished. Their death will not be in vain. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. May the souls 